Hello, my name is Andreas. I'm from the Touch Group of Microchip. I want to show you something here in terms of robust touch. What we have here is a simple setup of a touch tool from Microchip. What we are doing here, we are visualizing the position of my finger moving over this small touchpad. can make gestures here, dual finger gestures. They are indicated in the upper right corner. So now, this is a regular setup. What we want to show you, how everything behaves under the influence of noise. And therefore, we have here sources for radiated noise and for conducted noise. You can easily say these are the two most prominent enemies of robust touch sensing. We start with radiated noise. What you see here is a light bulb, a CFL light bulb, if you still remember these guys, a CFL light bulb illuminating right behind our touchpad. First observation, everything works, because what we are doing here is the microchip touch library running on an 8-bit part. What we can do, we can, uh, we can eliminate every hardware and software filtering we have implemented. So now you see how the signals actually look like. So if I turn off the noise source, everything looks okay. I turn on the noise source and Havoc, Havoc starts. Again, with our library running and with all the filtering built in, you can still cope and be a very happy customer. Radiated noise is one source of noise. The other one is conducted noise. Um, we will do this here by swapping from a good charger, US, USB charger, to a bad one. Meaning we, we stay at a 5 volt, but we change the noise level coming in. Again, the system with our algorithms uh, implemented, everything looks good. We are interested in how does the raw data look like. So I don't make any movement with my hand, I just stay on this one position. And you see how the, um, the position coming in, how this is changing. This is the noise coming from the charger. And we just showed you that we can cope with conducted noise, we can cope with radiated noise, or uh, doing this with, out of, uh, with our library and basically our code configurator. You get all of that uh, with a few clicks from microchip. And I guess you want to see what happens if we turn on both noise sources at the same time. Let's take a look at the raw data first. Really gets a little bit scary. Filtering turned on. Here we are. This is what robust touch is. This is what we talk about when Microchip talks to you about robust touch. It's the ability to create, in this case, a touchpad. Maybe you do a slider or touch buttons. And what, whatever you do capacitively, on your capacitive touch product, the user interface will be available to your customer under all conditions. Thank you.